Okay, so the third Shadowlands After Lives video is already out. It's uh, called Arden Wield. They've all been named after the region of the Shadowlands that we'll be following. And uh, these are coming out much faster than I expected, considering that the game still doesn't come out for like another month, just about, and some change. So they're definitely coming out faster than the Warbringer cinematics did, some of which weren't out until like the expansion was already out. So I don't know if that's because these are a little shorter and like we're not getting as much story for them or if maybe blizzard has even more planned that will come out after the expansion that would be interesting but uh let's see what we got here okay Okay. Oh. I return at last to the long slumber. You definitely feel bad for a lot of the wild gods. Because the wild gods that we know of at least, um, or Loa, however you want to call them, because I'm pretty sure they're the same thing, just called different things by different cultures. They've had it rough in the history of Warcraft. Like, the ones associated with the Night Elves, a lot of them died during the War of the Ancients and uh, came back later only to be killed again or taken over by the Nightmare. And then the Loa that the trolls follow have all, like, been killed for their power, basically. It's not a great situation, but uh, we'll see what their afterlife looks like here. I really like this. I shall protect these souls through their winter. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I face. I swear it, my queen. I swear it. Interesting that she doesn't speak. Well, something tragic has got to happen, right? Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little. I know. Yeah, and here we see is this is the effects of what's been going on um, in the mall, basically. We see in Bastion, they kind of just figured, ah, there's nothing wrong. But here, they're, they're clearly seeing the effects. My 
queen. No. I kept faith. All this time that you would save us. And now you send scavengers to my grove. Interesting. So this makes you wonder how complicit are the leaders of the four factions in the Shadowlands? So are they ignoring what's going on in the wall because it's convenient or because they're complicit? I wonder. Why? She still doesn't speak. She shows you instead. I like that. For the greater good sometimes means tragedy. You saw what is to come. Arnil is dying. It must be saved. The queen has called the wild to hunt. We have culled your grove so that others might live. Will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire? Or will you keep your oath? Your oh. heart is pure. I will honor your choice. It it is a tragedy, and they all know that. That's that makes it worse that they have to do it. What happens to them when they're consumed? Does that mean Forgive me. he's gone forever? Friend. That hurts. That hurts a lot. If if you've played a druid at all, this this hurts you. Or a night off even. Oh, she's so sad. Blizzard still can bring the emotion. You could see it I in her face. So good. Hunt for you, my queen. For Ardenwield. And for the souls we can yet save. How are we gonna fix that? I swear it. I swear it. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this one because we didn't have like a character we knew like being active basically you know we know uh this wild god but we don't he didn't do anything during this animation but it still felt a little bit more emotional than uh the previous one uh with Draka I I don't know I I was after Battle for Azeroth, I was very skeptical that Blizzard could still write a really good story in World of Warcraft, but they're starting to convert me here on Shadowlands. I'm starting to actually get excited and feel like these storylines are going to be really fulfilling and really emotional. Um, so yeah, if they keep this up, there's one more announced animation, and then who knows what more they're going to have when the expansion actually comes out. So I'm interested to see that last one. And of course, uh, the pre-patch is coming, so whatever we get there, I would love to get on board with that as well and see what's going on.